Looks like he was trying to get out. And something ripped him apart. What a jolly place to go. I hope my torch doesn't go out. Oh, there aren't any giant rats down here. I hope I don't die feeling terribly stupid. That's my biggest fear, I think. this hole up before I have any uninvited visitors. I guess someone got out that way, which means someone could get in. I better patch this before I get unwanted guests. Good. I'm ready for my next visit back here. seem to be in the mood for a rational conversation, do they? Maybe I should just throw a rock or a bottle at it and blow it up safely. Thank <laughs> you. 
Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Hey, you don't live here. Sorry. I'm not cooking for you. I've always liked you, actually. They can't really have a dog. We ate all the dogs during the war. Please don't make a fuss. We're not a bloody friend of breakfast, are we? So get out! Daisy! There's the one! You can't kill all What have we come to? Mushrooms? They're taking hallucinogenic mushrooms. That's not good. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Well, probably not. Hmm. A recipe. I wonder what that's for. Maybe I can use these for something that doesn't involve throwing myself off a rooftop. This could be useful. Have you been sleeping all right? Well, well. There's more of us every day. Roast beef, beef wellington, wellington pie, shepherd's pie, apple pie. So that's where I parked it. <laughs> You've built a lovely tree house. Mine was never this grand. Welcome to the Special Operations Executive. You're the new agent, aren't you? Alfie, what's his name? Great. Here are the other agents. This is Charlie Croker, Jack Carter, Gonville Bromhead, Joe Vandeleur, and Nigel Powers. But we're missing Peachy. Peachy Carnahan. He's been kidnapped, and you have to rescue him. All right? Brilliant. Here's everything you need to rescue Peachy. The house they're keeping him in is pretending to be a puppet theater. 
but it's really a den of spies. Well, that's one way to stay sane out here. Go stark raving bonkers. Didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class. Oh dear. Going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But we're brothers. I'll look out for. We'll look out for each other. Bloody hell! I don't think I had a terribly keen grasp on how many unpleasant things I've forgotten. Come home. Just now. Come in here, Torvald, and see what I have bought. Don't disturb me. Bought, did you say? All these things? Has my little spendthrift been wasting money again? Yes, but Torvald, this year we can really let ourselves go a little. This is the first Christmas we have not needed to economize. Still, you know, we can't spend money recklessly. Yes, Torvald. We may be a wee bit more reckless now, mayn't we? Uh, just a tiny wee bit. <laughs> you are going to have a big salary and earn lots and lots of money. Yes, after the new year. But then it will be a whole quarter before the salary is due. Please just lie down. Borrow until then. Nora, the same little featherhead. Suppose now that I borrowed fifty pounds today, and you spent it all in the Christmas week, and then on New Year's Eve, a slate fell on my head. It killed me, and... Oh, don't say such horrid things. Still, suppose that happened. Doing. What then? If that were to happen, I don't suppose I should care whether I... They owed money or not? Yes, but what about the people who had lent it? They? <sighs> who would bother about them? I should not know who they were. That is like a woman. But seriously, Nora, you know what I think about that. No debt, no borrowing. There can be no freedom or beauty about a home life that depends on borrowing and debt. We two have kept bravely on the straight road so far and we will go on the same way for the short time longer that there need be any struggle. As you please, Torvald. Come, come, my little Skylark must not droop her wings. What is this? Is my little squirrel out of temper? Nora, what do you think I've got here? This too shall pass, I suppose. Sally Boyle could help me. A man she doesn't do house calls up here, does she? Ah! What am I doing? How many calls does it take to fill the Albert Hall? I wish I knew. I don't recall inviting you. Oh! You did it, didn't you? Ah! Oh. He's a
isn't your house! Racker! You did it, didn't you? yourself, Arthur. Would you like this? Brilliant! Knew we could count on you, Alfie. Hey, everybody, Peach is back. But look, Charlie Croker's been wounded. He needs a first aid kit. Can you get one? I knew you could. Here's the top secret blueprint for making one. And you can find the ingredients on this map. I suppose you do have to look out for your friends. that? I hope she's all right. Maybe I should go check. You can take your joy immediately. Oh, for heaven's sake, she's gone! I can't believe she left without helping me. <sighs> well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. the masks? Are we all supposed to carry power cells in our hats? Are they completely insane? He's terribly popular. I better be discreet about posting these. Okay. 
take your joint immediately. Drop that right now. What's going on? I saw that, you robber! That's enough of you, Reds! Lovely weather. I got a new compliment machine. It's so clever. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, right as rain. Uncle Jackson. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links then? <laughs> Pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days, and the council workers will have this all sorted. I need to be dressed like a worker in there. If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you okay. do. Okay. Here's the mission we've all been training for. You have to find the secret mystery house, and bring back the ephemeral linen. Now, listen carefully. You can only get into the secret mystery house at night, and only when the doors of your perception have been cleansed. Once you've got the ephemeral linen, we'll be able to construct our secretest weapon. It's called a suit of blending for Peachy. We can use it to sneak into Dr. Verloc's secret lair and stop his evil plan for good. All right, Alfie. Don't come back without the ephemeral linen. A suit of blending? He's talking about camouflage, isn't it? Entirely sure they're Anglicans.
You who hoard <coughs> the mysteries. It's not you. It's and me. the words that may not be spoken. <coughs> Just relax. Don't question it. of the world. We call to... Oh, oh, this won't take a minute. Are the Guardians here? Let him come to us Please within the sacred us. triangle. Let him come to us who was dead. Please don't struggle. Think Father McCartney would approve. I'll drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. for the next minute.
this is for you. Brilliant. Now we can make the suit of blending. Here's the secret instructions. I hope you like this sort of thing. There you go. Uh, I've never sewed an outfit for a, uh, a secret agent. I hope you like it. Fantastic! Now you and Peachy can sneak into the secret lair of Dr. Burlock. You'll need this to get in. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Oh, you probably want a suit of blending yourself. Peachy can't do it all by himself. He's not talking about the same Dr. Verloc who runs Hayworth Labs, is he? Well, anyway, I'm keen to try the camouflage suit. I wouldn't get too close to that. You're liable to get quite a shock. What's gone wrong here, Constable? What's gone wrong, sir, is a complete lack of preventative maintenance. Council workers don't test the poppers anymore. They don't even see them until something electronic goes tits up. Just lucky one of the lads wasn't in there when it decided to become a spanker. So you're waiting for a council worker? I'm not holding my breath. I hope one comes soon because I've got places to be. I wonder how I can get a boiler suit. Here. I want you to have this. Well... I've got stuff you don't even know you. Ooh, look at that. Maybe if I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Come round again. You never know what I'll have. You remember the victory? convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. You from Central, then? That's right. What's wrong, sir, is the bloody electricity's in and out. Well, the bridge works are supposed to function properly even when the power is inconsistent. Haven't you read the manual? Well, sir, I will let you get onto the bridge without further ado, then, sir. Well, that went surprisingly well. Taking joy, you'll forget Percy. Hey, 
Right! I'm done for men around! Right! I wish I kept in shape. Look what I found. Shit! Say goodnight! I won't have it! Oh. 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 Do we really have to do this? This is not who I really am. Doesn't kill you. <laughs> Snug as a bug on a drug. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Simon says, Step on two platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says. Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Simon says, step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. That bridge to the parade, it's just one more bridge and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that, and I'm finally out of Wellington Wells.